This week we're talking about navigating your business to success. Hey, it's Tom Jacobs, TomJacobs.com. How are you doing this week? I hope you're doing just great. Be sure to put some comments below on how you're finding these videos and how it's helping you improve your business. I would love to hear all about it. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe right over there as well. So let's dive right into it. I'm not sure if you know this about me or not, but I'm a pilot and not like a jet pilot or anything like that. I used to do it as a hobby and it's kind of something fun that I've done over the last five years. And it was one of the goals that I had in my life that I knew I had to get to at some point. And I did it five years ago and I became a private pilot. But there are so many similarities between flying an airplane and running a business and making sure that you're on track to success. So one of the things that we do when we are planning out, we have these charts. This is an actual chart. It has all sorts of symbols and things like that in it so that we know like where we're going. Of course, we have GPS now in the airplanes as well, but this is like old school way of doing it and how we had to learn. And we would plot a course. We would know what heading that we had to go on. And then we had to take into account wind in case it throws you off course. And as you're going along, you have to make adjustments to your course heading because you're always being thrown off course. And as long as you are making those small changes along the way, you will absolutely end up at the final destination that you chose. But at the beginning of the trip, if you allow just a little bit of a degree change to keep going in the wrong direction, well, that one degree or two degrees difference is going to be exponentially worse as the further that you get along. And all of a sudden, from a trip from Chicago to San Francisco, and you're ending up in Los Angeles because you did not take into account the different aspects that are hitting your business along the way. Like in flying, it would be the wind is the biggest uh, problem that you run into that you have to do course correction for. So think about in your business now, where do you need to make course correction or are you even keeping track of the key metrics necessary to make sure that you're staying on course? So I do a lot of sales training and that is like what I love to do and especially telling stories that sell. But when you're doing that, you need to keep metrics on how well you're doing so you can make course corrections along the way. So what are those key performance indicators that you are keeping track of? Are you keeping track of the number of leads that are coming into the business? How are you converting those leads into actual conversations, sales conversations? Are you tracking the number of conversions that you're making as well? Those are the kind of the key metrics that I would track on a basic level. And then if you're doing presentations in front of a large group, then looking at how many prospects do you have in the audience and how well did you close them? Just like flying, you need to make course corrections along the way and make some adjustments. But you aren't gonna know that unless you have the inputs, which would be your metrics. So I encourage you to keep track of those metrics and make sure that your course is on the way to where you want it to be, your goals. So until next time, I hope this was helpful for you. Make sure you put some comments below and we'll talk to you soon.